Good morning, guys. This is Hobo Run Runner, Princess Xena, and Baby Marley. So right now we are we're just right outside of Cody. We've been out here for about five or six days now, and uh, we decided we wanted to camp out at KOA. There's our tent. This is that one we found in Montrose near a near a church. It was just sitting in the bushes, and I'm pretty sure it was probably a homebums, but. We decided to take it, and we found we now finally found the time to get the damn thing set up, and it's actually pretty cool. You know, the uh, rain flight comes out like that. It's supposed to happen over here too, but stupid fence is in the way, and I didn't know that at the time. So, uh, but yeah, it's actually very cheap to stay here if you're in a, if you're in your own tent or whatever. It only costs us twenty one dollars, and then. Uh, just to get the wood cost another six dollars, which was kind of stupid, but whatever. Marley, chill. So we'll stay here and uh, we'll leave out tomorrow. We gotta be gone by tomorrow, eleven in the morning. And uh, I guess basically we'll just show you guys what, uh, what normally what I do if we're out if we were at a campsite or something. So you know, let's just see what happens. <laughs> All right, so this is our tent. This is a uh, two-person tent. But if you're like me, and you just have dogs, then you know I sleep right here on the right side. Everything I own is right here on the left. And then the dogs usually either sleep right here, or they sleep in the sleeping bag with me. It's usually Zena's thing. Marley, chill. You know, so uh, this right here comes down and what we plan on doing is we're actually trying to head back to Texas uh, I really don't think I can deal with this cold any longer I guess I spent too much in the heat and uh, so we're going down to a certain town south of Lufkin and what we're gonna do is just set up base camp in the woods near uh, some railroad tracks that I've been camping at for years. It's not the one I did in that in an old video, but it's another town south of Lufkin. The one I did before is uh, north of Lufkin. So uh, we're gonna set up near the railroad tracks, deep in the woods, and I'm usually the only one out there as far as I can remember. And uh, <coughs> right here, this is gonna be a good good spot right here. Is uh, even though this is flame resistant or flame retardant, whatever you want to call it, it's not fully flame proof. So what we're gonna try to do is dig a hole right here in the middle where we're going, and uh, we're probably either dig a hole and build a small fire right there, you know, in case it rains or whatever, or we'll get fuel tubes or fuel tablets, whichever ones you want to call them, and use those instead on a uh on like a little stove or whatever you want to call it you know so uh that would, that would be a very big plus right there but uh yeah this is this is my home <laughs> you know and marley's i don't know why marley's freaking out now granted this is just a temporary tent i mean i'm not getting rid of it but but, uh, I still want to be able to build some sort of wooden shelter. You know, just something small and basic. Uh, we'll probably be getting wood pallets brought out there. I know this place very well. So, I'm not worried about the police and such. And the police know who I am. Which is actually a bad thing, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Let's get the whole place made just like this. Didn't work. Shit. Hold on. Watch this. Just like that. Magic. <laughs> Got our whole mummy bag out. We're gonna try to uh, get everything organized a little bit. Oh, by the way, we went by the stores the other day when we made some money. We ended up getting this right here is really cool. I've used this a couple of times. This is the UST survival blanket 2.0 uh, basically it's not really a blanket it's actually a tarp that has the uh, 
has the silver side on one side to get your body heat out, and then the orange side is to, you know, for emergency personnel to come find you and stuff like that. Um, they do come in other colors, blue, red, and green, if I remember correctly, and I wish I had the green one, but this one's the easiest to get because it is at Walmart, and it usually runs about $12. And then the other thing we got is uh, this camp shower from uh, Koblenz. This costs about $13, and it holds five gallons. So basically, the idea behind it is uh, one side is black, and the other, one is, the other side's clear. And what it's supposed to do, you're supposed to fill it up with water, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think you're supposed to fill this one up with water. And then it, the black side of it, which needs to be facing the sun, will be heating the water up and it's good for about three to four showers so i think that's another good thing because where we're going to be at in texas has a really nice creek that runs on the side of it there's the temperature hours exposed to the sun yada 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 that sort of thing i was really hoping to find the one where uh all right so uh getting getting the Pet ready for tonight. It's still hours off before we gotta get a fire going. But uh, ended up getting some dry tinder and I got a bunch of logs ready. Uh, one play thing I don't like about KOA is they have to sell you the wood because there's no trees here. You're not allowed to cut trees up and stuff like that. So you gotta buy the wood. And I want to test out. I just want to go over and get a fire going tonight. So. Yeah, six dollars for a bundle of six six uh, pieces of lug. I guess why not? When uh, we get back to Texas and we get to the town we're going to, uh, we'll probably stop by my mom's house and drop a bunch of this crap off and just go smaller, just enough to go over and do uh, some winter stuff and whatever. And, and uh, a lot of, like I said, a lot of things we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna do at my mom's. But one of the things I like that we picked up at Walmart the other day was uh, this nice tarp right here. I took it out yesterday or the day before. And you see, it's basically a five by seven tarp, and uh, I haven't used it yet. I just took it out. I haven't even unfolded it, but I've seen videos on it, and it looks pretty good. So we're going to keep this definitely with us as long as a bunch of paracord. Alright, so it's getting, it's already after 5. And uh, I think tonight for dinner is, it's, oh crap, it, it's 5.34. Anyways, for dinner, we're going to get the fire going close to about, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half, around 7ish. And, uh, for me, it would just be hot chocolate and some leftover, uh, food bar rations, CST emergency food bar rations. And, of course, for the dogs, it would be dog food, you know. I'll probably be playing some music tonight, and around 11, maybe 10.30 or 11, we'll go to bed. But, uh, got people moving right there. The tent's doing fine. The only problem I have is, uh, as you can tell, Marley's being a little weird. I just, I really think he wants to be active, but I can't let him be active because last time I tried doing that, he ran all the way towards a Walmart and went behind the Walmart and almost got taken by somebody else. So, with that being said, you know, I just can't trust him to be fully active to where I want him to be. Or what he wants to do. You know, and I know that sounds cruel, but, you know, he kind of brought that on himself. <clears throat> I went to use the restroom earlier and to take a shower, and I come back out, and Marley and the dogs were running around. And they were in the tent. They tore a hole. Marley, chill. They tore a hole in where the mesh window was. Not the, not whatever this material the tent is made of, but where the window is is a nylon, not nylon, a mesh kind of padding. 
you know, like they use for school backpacks and such. So with that being said, they tore a hole in there somehow and got out and started running around and the employees had to go get them for me. So the tent has a hole in the window now. But other than that, it's doing pretty good. Um, I mean, like I said, this is our first time using it, so I think we'll probably keep it for as long as possible because I really do like it. And I think we can set up sort of like a base camp, so to speak, down in Texas. Uh, me and a friend of mine, me and John, we're trying to get a, uh, trying to get a movement back going, you know, a lot of people don't know this, because, you know, people, a lot of, you know, people who call themselves hobos and tramps and such, you know, they're so used to going to motels, and, you know, some, chill! So, you know, sometimes we'll go t to a motel, too, you know, if I want to take a hot bath or whatever, and let the dogs chill out, but... About well, maybe 90% of the time, we're outside sleeping. You know, we'll go set up a camp along the railroad tracks, yada, yada, yada. And for those who know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about a hobo jungle. Um, I want to get, I want to make hobo jungles to what they used to be. Chill, Marley. Relax. Go lay down or something. You're fine. Anyways, uh. I want to bring the jungles back. It only seems like a few of us are still doing it. And I want to make it a thing again. So John's trying to... I guess John's going to be dealing with the Facebook page. Because we made one for motels. And I figure we know if that's the case. Then why not just make one for uh, jungles and such. You know, appoint somebody to make a jungle. And, uh... You know, I just, I just think, I just think it would be better. I think it would be better. I think it would be better if we did the old school way of doing it. You know, I think it would be pretty nice. And I'm talking about everything from the jungle to going back and using bindles and bed rolls and shit like that, rather than this. Just sorry about that. I had a little cut in. Anyways, uh, I just think it would be really cool to go back to the old ways of doing it. And, not this, gotta go to Walmart and buy everything we need, bullshit, you know, but what do I know, well, anyways, I need to get shit ready, so we'll see y'all in a few minutes, sweet, so we got the fire going, I'm gonna let that burn up for a while, I cut up some of the uh, wood a little bit, make some more small pieces, uh, I could have found a grainer to go over it, so I'm gonna have to try to figure out how I'm gonna cook this hot chocolate and whatever else I can find up. Uh, yeah, the one thing I've learned over the years of doing this is, uh, fire can be a very comf comfortable, comfortable thing. You know, it's very com comforting. And when you have a fire, you know, you got heat, you got light, you know, it keeps a lot of animals away, the smoke will keep the mosquitoes away, you know, maybe the flies, I don't know, you know, it can help you cook, etc. Um. So yeah, I always try to have a fire or something like that, you know, it's like, it's like having bandanas around, you know, something like that. Well, sun's going down, I got the fire going on, gonna get some, uh, nice hot chocolate going here in a couple of minutes, once I feel like the fire's good, the dogs have eaten, people are showing up, yeah, I think today, I think tonight's gonna be a good night, to be honest. So, uh, guess we'll see you guys around bedtime and then, uh, get up tomorrow morning. We gotta be gone by 11 o'clock, so, yeah, we'll see y'all in a little bit. Alright, it's night time. It's after, let's see here. It's almost, it's five minutes to eight. So, we're gonna go take a shower. Let the fire go on. Got our candle going. Let's clean all this up. Get ready to go for tomorrow. Um, making a fire kit after out of this. Should probably throw this in there too. Mario, probably gonna do a future video of this. Nothing really, I guess, entertaining around here. I mean, this is a really cool, nice area. Really nice people. It's just, I don't know. Maybe because it's my first time at a KOA that I'm just not used to it. But, I don't know, man. 
I'm almost done with the ra rations in this pack right here. This is actually really, really good. I've been buying this stuff for years. I always tell people to get it whenever possible. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah. This is, uh, I bought this about three or four days ago from Walmart because I wanted to save, uh, Wanted to save the rest of the ones I already had when I did that uh, EST bug out bag review, but uh, these these are really good. I mean, I I really do highly recommend getting this. So you know, well, we're gonna go take a shower. So, cheers. <laughs> Check this out. I uh, got ended up getting two two new patches and uh, some some uh, pens. Kind of hard to see. It's way this. There you go. I think I'm gonna start getting uh, state patches. We got Wyoming right here. And then this one says outsider, meaning I like to be outside. This one says I love to camp. And this one says, uh, what does it say? Rome if you want. So, I guess it's time to go take a shower. <laughs> yeah. It's a really, it's a really nice area too. Really, you know. Three showers. I could bring the dogs into this one. Huh. What I really like is this right here. This is a Yellowstone National Park, but what I like about it is right down here. Burton Route and Northern Pacific. Those are two Fallen Flags former railroad companies. Uh, Burton, Northern, and Santa Fe owns this one, and I think they also own Burlington Route. So, I thought that was pretty cool. It's bedtime. Marley right here. Zena sleeps right here on my sleeping bag. Hi, pretty girl. You okay? <laughs> Here's the damn hole they ripped in. Ripped. That's how they got out earlier. Idiots. But, uh, it's about... It's 9.30, so... You know, it's, a, it's not that late, but... I'm tired, and we gotta... Try to hitchhike to Nebraska. Like I said, we're gonna head back down to Texas. I don't know. I guess this whole idea of going up to the Northwest again, I kind of look at it as a bad idea. You know, I mean, not that bad, but it's just way too cold to be handling it. You know, it's like when we were out on the East Coast last winter, especially, you know, December, January, February, and March. When we were out there, it was just me and Xena, and, uh, I remember it was anywhere between 10 to 30 degrees, 10 to 40, maybe 30 degrees during the daytime, and then about 10 to 15 during the night. We were lucky if it even made the 50s or 60s. I mean, that's how cold it got, and then while we were gone from Texas that time... Texas had a, especially in Lufkin, they had a blizzard that hit, or some sort of a snowfall, so it, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's just weird, it's like, growing up, I always remembered the south being like the warmest climate, but it seems like Florida was the only one with 70 degree weather during the winter time, everybody else had to deal with like, 20, 30, 40 degree weather, you know, so, it is kind of, it is kind of weird, I guess, but, I'd rather be down in Texas right now, now that I think about it, you know, and I hadn't even celebrated Thanksgiving in like the last, I don't know, four years, I want to see, I want to see if we can try doing that again this year, so, yeah, we're gonna go to bed, and, uh, Hopefully wake up around 5.30, maybe 6, and hurry up and pack up and get out of here. So, we'll see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It's, uh, 8.55 in the morning. So, we're gonna, we're getting everything packed up and so ready to go. And then we're gonna try to hitchhike either on to Grable or try to get to Nebraska. But it's most likely gonna be Grable. You never know. Anyways, uh, it was really cool here. I like KOA so far. Uh, I think the next one, if we could afford it, we'll probably stay there too. Marley's proud. Look at Marley. Hi, Marley boy. Marley Moore. Mama Zena. 
Anyways, we gotta get ready. <clears throat> it's gonna take us about half an hour to get everything packed up and ready to go. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, comment, sh share the video if you can. We'll see y'all next time. So, uh, we got camp all packed up. We're ready to go. On the gray bull.